they checked out the information. The information was was uh, not as helpful as one would hope. Investigators could be a step closer to locating Ying Ying Zhang's remains, but what's left may be impossible to find. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons in for Jennifer. We told you an attorney for the Zhang family says Ying Ying's remains could be in a landfill in Vermilion County. Brent Christensen was sentenced to life in prison for murdering the U of I scholar. Today, we learned more about how her remains could have gotten to Vermilion County and the likelihood of finding them. WCIA3's Courtney Bunting is live in Champaign for us tonight. Courtney, why didn't this information come out a long time ago? Yeah, Jessica, well, we've talked before about this grant of immunity. That's what it took for Christensen's defense team to share this information with prosecutors. As a result, this information can't be used during the criminal trial. But that also means the likelihood of that information being useful decreases by the day. Well, we're lawyers. We never say anything is totally impossible or certain. But this is a, a very difficult uh, task. The probability may be almost non-existent, but there's still a glimmer of hope. Brent Christensen's attorneys say he told them what he did with Ying Ying Zhang's remains. Christensen told them, after killing Ying Ying Zhang on June 9, 2017, he placed her bodily remains in three separate garbage bags. The next day, June 10, 2017, he placed those garbage bags in the dumpster immediately outside his apartment building in Champaign, Illinois. Investigators say items from that dumpster would have been taken to a landfill in Vermilion County. Beckett says the remains could be smaller than a cell phone, and on top of them would be at least 30 feet of trash. There are many factors in play that have and are holding investigators back from a full investigation. First and foremost, the skepticism surrounding Christensen's information. We cannot trust uh, what the attorney said, Christensen said, was true. There are also environmental risks at play. You know, any opening of the landfill like this involves ha hazardous materials, uh, uh, permit regulation, and, and, uh, and other problems. The family doesn't have the power to make a call on how to move forward. It's in the hands of state and federal investigators. They're in the process of determining whether or not it's worth looking into. And her family's holding on to the smallest bit of hope that it is. The primary goal has always been uh, locate Ying Ying and bring her home. But also, um, Mr. Zhang stated uh, that uh, we now understand uh, that might be impossible. Now, Christensen's defense team will not be filing an appeal. Steve Beckett says he believes that's because it could open up Christensen back up to the possibility of the death penalty. Reporting live in Champaign, Courtney Bunting, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Courtney, thank you. And the Zhang family will be creating a local grave site for Ying Ying. They haven't picked a spot yet, but the plan is to bury some of her clothing there.